بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم and good morning to all my lovely students, my shining stars. I hope that you all are well and fine and doing great. So students, I warmly welcome you back to the class of science. This is your teacher, your science teacher, Ms. Zunayira. And today we are back with another lecture of the same chapter. So let's continue our chapter that we started. So my dear students, the chapter that we started was simple machines, right? The chapter that we started was simple machines which is at chapter number 6 and it is on page number 100 of your science book. So today we are going to continue this chapter from where we left. So let's get started. And here are things to learn. The things to learn includes machines, simple machines, types of simple machines in which lever and its classes, pulley, inclined plane, wheel and axle, and screw. Then in the last, we would learn about complex machines. The complex machines are different from simple machines. How they are different, we would learn about it. So how many types of simple machines we had learned? We have discussed about lever and its classes. We have learned about pulley inclined plane. So in today's lecture, we are going to have the discussion on or you will be having the lecture on wheel and axle screw and in the last we will learn about complex machines so let's start from wheel and axle before we start the wheel and axle let's have the review of previous lecture we had learned that a pulley is a wheel with groove along its edge that holds a rope or cable and we had learned that a single fixed pulley consists of a wheel with a groove and a rope passing through it single fixed pulley changes the direction of the force but if several pulleys can be attached together or they work together so the force can be increased so if anybody wants to increase the force, he or she has to use several pulleys together because single fixed pulley can change the direction only. Afterwards, we learnt about inclined plane. An inclined plane is simply a slope over which a load can be pushed up. So what is it? It is a plane surface set at an angle. Now this is time to learn about one of the most important simple machines which is wheel and axle. Do you know that wheel is one of the most important inventions of man? Wheel alone is not a simple machine, but it becomes a simple machine when it is attached to a rod called an axle. When the wheel is attached to this rod called an axle, then they both are called as wheel and axle arrangement. It can increase the force. Is used in all the vehicles and in other machines as well. So what have we learned? We have learned that wheel is one of the most important inventions of men and do you know that it is the oldest invention of men 
if we talk about the machines wheel was the first machine that was in invented by human beings right so it is the most important inventions of the man wheel alone is not a simple machine it becomes simple machine when it is attached to a rod called an axle when the wheel and axle work together they can make our work easier and they can increase the force and there are number of the uses of uh, wheel and axle all the vehicles use wheel and axles to move plus wheels and axle are used in many of the machines so what is wheel and axle it is a circular frame an axle goes through the center of a wheel the wheel revolves around an axle okay these rods which are attached to the wheels these are called as axle and wheel revolves around the axle sometimes a wheel and an axle turn together a solid disc or a rigid circular ring attached to the hub by spokes designed to rotate on an axle you might have seen this swing it is also a kind of wheel and axle where the smith point is an axle and this is a wheel okay students wheel and axle two round objects here we, we can notice one thing that wheel and axle both are round objects and they move together the larger object is called as wheel and the smaller one is an axle as you can see here so can you name some of the examples if you know some of the examples where you can see the wheel and axle you can mention them in your comments on google classroom or on uh, below the video Here comes one more example of wheel and axle. This is a door knob, right? You can see here that it is attached with a door. This object is round and this one is also round, but the larger one is wheel and the smaller one is an axle. What do we do? We rotate it and its rotation is impossible without an axle. so it is one of the good example from our daily life where we can see the wheel and axle apart from vehicles wheel and axles are also used in the wall clock or the wrist watch as well okay here you can see that in the center the axle is attached and there is a wheel too due to which they can move round and round and here comes the basic example that is a car apart from car the bikes the bicycle different vehicles even aeroplane all these vehicles use wheel and axle so the movement of wheel is not possible without the rod called an axle okay so wheel and axle work together to make the movement possible and what do they do they increase the force one of the best inventions in history it has made our lives far easier than before it is easier to drag an object with wheels compared to an object without wheels the wheel and axle is a modified form of the wheel in which a shaft or a wheel of a smaller diameter called an axle is attached to the wheel Moving the wheel results in movement of the axle and vice versa. Before we learn about the wheel and axle, let's perform a simple experiment. So students, when we have to move a real heavy object, we have to use a great deal of force to push it because of friction. Yes, this is a kind of force that resists our motion. Okay? and it is also due to the gravitational force 
the VLAN axle solves this problem and we can move it now easily. In this simple machine, a wheel is locked to a central axle and they rotate each other when force is applied on either one of the sides. When we place a heavy object on the axle and push it, the rolling of the wheels reduces the friction to a large extent. Here you can see that how the axle makes the work easier. The friction, the friction depends on its heavy mass. When there is less friction, it takes less force to move something. So what we need to do, we need to reduce the friction. The effort needed to overcome the resistance acting upon the axle is relatively small. And we see the wheel and axle set up in many of our day-to-day -day activities as they are shown in front of you. In reverse, a short powerful force at the axle will move to the wheel's edge at the greater distance. Now it's time to learn the last simple machine from its labors and that is screw. What is a screw? A screw looks like a nail with grooves cut in it, as you can see in the background. What is there in the background? There is a nail like a structure, but it is not a simple nail. It is provided with guts. These guts can make the movement of a screw easy. It has a winding edge called the thread. So basically, this is the structure where you can observe here in the picture that is called as thread. Okay, so what is a screw? Screw looks like a nail, but this nail is provided with grooves that is cut in it, right? It has a winding edge called the thread. Here are some of the examples of a screw in front of you where you can see that these are the things that we use in our daily life including this bulb. This bulb has the thread here. So what are these guts? These guts are showing the thread and by rotating it we can fix it into the holder. So it is also a kind of screw. Here comes an important thing. Like a wedge, a screw is a simple machine or like a lever, like a pulley, like a wheel and axle, screw is also a kind of simple machine that is related to inclined plane. This is the thing that we need to focus. This is a machine or the simple machine that is related to inclined plane. A screw can be thought of, a, of as an inclined plane wrapped around a cylinder. This spiral inclined plane forms the thread of the screw. Now here you can see in the picture this is a nail like structure which is provided with cut that is a groove okay where we can fix our screwdriver. Now there are the threads. These threads are like something is wrapped over it. It is like a kind of thread structure is wrapped over it. So if we unfold it it would form the shape of inclined plane. Let's learn something more about screw now. A screw is one of the most commonly used mechanical devices in the world. It is a machine that converts rotational motion into linear motion. A screw has a long and thin metal shaft with threads spiraling along its length. The strength of the screw's hole depends on the width of the thread and the distance between them. The closer and wider the threads, the stronger the hole will be. However, more threads require more rotations to attach the screw and wider threads require more force into the rotation. But the mechanical advantages 
of screw increases when the angle of the spiral increases. This screw has become an integral part of the mechanical aid. It can be used to hold things together and it is used to lift heavy loads like car jack or screw jack. Drill gun is used or the drill machine is used to make holes. Now we are going to learn about the very last thing in our chapter. Okay, a bicycle is, is in front of you now. We are going to notice here some of the things that what kind of simple machines are used here. So this bicycle is provided with wheel and axle. Plus there are many screws with, which are attaching different objects of this bicycle together. So it means more than one simple machines are used in bicycle. So it is going to be a complex machine. What is it going to be? It is going to be a complex machine. So what are the complex machines? Let's learn them now. Complex machines are also called as compound machines. So don't get confused when you see the word compound machines that is alternative term that we use for complex machine. So what is it? When two or more simple machines are attached together or work together, they are called so, uh, they are called complex machines or compound machines. As you can see, the different examples which are in front of you, in front of you. wheelbarrow is having the levers plus wheel and axle. Likewise, there are number of the machines that we use in our daily life. So let's take some of the examples from our daily life. Many of the things we are having at our home, including washing machine. Washing machine is provided with wheel and axle so we can move it easily, right? There is a wheel like structure inside the washing machine as well that rotates or that moves the water in circular motion so the cloths can be cleaned easily. With this, there are many of the screws which are, which are attached, which are used to attach many of the objects inside its machinery. Likewise, we can take many of the examples. Um, sewing machine is one of the good example of compound machine or complex machine. What you have to remember? You have to remember this. If a simple, if a machine has more than one simple machines, it is going to be the complex machine. Okay. Now it can be much more complex. It can be less complex as well. So students, now this is the time to say goodbye to all of you. I recommend you to wear your, wear your mask when you go out of your home. When you come back to the home, use sanitizer or wash your hand with soap. Stay clean, stay safe, stay home. Thank you so much. Goodbye.